Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This morning I'm going to um, a place where they are supposedly constructing a new estate called the Centenary City. Um, this uh, Centenary City was inaugurated or uh, came into being in 2014 during the Jonathan administration. I think it was to commemorate the um, uh, Nigeria being what it is, I mean, after a hundred years, which I think came to, into being in 1914. So by 2014, it was a hundred years, so that was when they inaugurated this. And uh, you would think by now the place should have been flourishing, but uh, due to some bottlenecks and all that, uh, they went to, I think when Buhari government came into power, the, the thing was stalled. They went to court for some strange reasons. Some, I think so many reasons were given for uh, wanting them to stop. But eventually they won the case, they are back up. Uh, so I'm just taking you guys there to see if I can, uh, if they'll allow me to uh, show the, the place itself and also to hear from them what is the situation, are people paying, are people bought up the place, uh, you know, everything I need to know. I just want to go there and see. And if they've started construction, I'll also like to go there and show you what they are doing. Okay? Guys, let's go. Centenary City on sitting on their office building is sitting on top of the hill there. This is their sign board Centenary Economic City Free Zone. Alright, here we go. It's all about now. Guys, we're here at the place. Um, just gonna walk to the office and uh, see the person we came to meet. Wow, this place is fine. <sighs> guys, I the estate is gonna be somewhere, all those places are gonna be part of the estate. The hills there in front, to let me zoom into it so I can see. Let's meet the guy who asked some questions and we we'll see if we can find answers to some of the things that are on our minds. This is where we came from. This place is peaceful, quiet. Uh, probably this, I don't know whether he's coming to meet us here or we we'll just walk towards the office there. They've already started carving out roads or streets in, as you guys can see from the structure there. That was impressive. Hey, can you... Modern Smart City. Modern Smart City. On a 12.6 km square kilometer. show you guys what the city should actually look like you guys can see it these are all pictures of what it should actually be okay i'm gonna ask questions like i said so that we have answers to some of these things because okay this is the master uh, yes. master plan yes okay. it's the model of the of the city okay so here will be the new abuja city gate okay okay this is uh, structure this is the airport road oh this is the airport road now yes. So that's the tab road goes to Kuji. Okay, that's the Kuji road. Yes. Okay. So this will be new Abuja City Gate. Okay. That city gate, you know, will become old, old Abuja, Abuja City Gate. So it's more okay. like a new city. Yeah. Old, old yeah. Town. Yeah. Jonathan. Okay. 
this is the main entrance. Yeah. All right. The inspiration city behind this is Dubai. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. So with Dubai, uh, you'll be surprised that even the guy responsible for over seventy to eighty percent. Yeah. Of Dubai's development. Yeah. His name is Mohammed Al. Okay. He built the Burj Khalifa. Okay. Right. He's the same person that designed this one. Wow. You know, so there's a lot of brains behind the wow. project. So the plan. Okay. Yeah. I can see that tower there. How many stories will that tower be? This long one. It will be 310 meters in height. In height. Yeah. 310 meters. Yes. Okay. Similar to the Burj Khalifa. Wow. This is an iconic tower. Okay. The, iconic, the Burj Khalifa is the tallest in the world. Okay. But this will be the tallest in Africa. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, these are iconic towers that attract a lot of people. You know, just for seeing this, you know, millions of people will visit this location. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. the concept behind the Sentinel is it's not just about building buildings. Okay. People who are investing are investing here because it's a destination in itself. So, okay. So people okay. have a lot of reasons to, to come. Okay. There's also the, the largest shopping mall. Okay, which is that one there. Yes. Just okay. from, yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we did the. Um, the largest mall. Yeah. So you're going to conference in there. You're going to in there. Okay. So again, very, very important. So you have things like London District, you know, where you have a lot of educational institutions. Okay. And for health. So this is more for health as well. Okay. You know, so there'll be a lot of medical research. Okay. Medical institutions, specialist hospitals and all that. Okay. Then also, there's a... Uh, a business district here. Yeah. Okay, this is a business yes. district. This will be the new Abuja business district. Okay. Right. The CBD. Correct. Okay. What makes this unique yeah. is the fact that you see the entire Sentinel City perimeter has yeah. been negotiated to be a free zone. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Economic yeah. Free, free zone. zone. Yes, okay. So automatically yeah. this becomes very, very attractive to a lot of business institutions. Okay. okay. Of the tax benefits. Okay. So, because okay. once you have your business here, you're operating here, yeah. Yeah. And you're exempted from, yeah. even when you're importing things here, you're, okay. you're exempted, exempted from, from a lot of taxes, taxes. Okay. even custom duties, okay. and a lot of other benefits. Okay. You know, as far as you're operating within the Sentinel City. Okay. There's also sports, you know, just okay. to a lot of activities. You know, very, very unique. So, they are all master planned okay. together. Built to fit into the natural landscape. Okay. All right. Then we also have an 18 hole golf course here. 18 hole golf course. Okay. Yes. Okay. What makes this even more unique is the fact that, you know, I mean, you have the golf course, but imagine villas directly overlooking the golf course. Wow. So people who are passionate about golf, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they love this 100%. Okay. You know, Amazing project there. It's 700 golf course. Okay. Where you have the lines. If you notice, a, lot, a whole lot of things that you consider in the master plan is to yeah. attract people, people into yeah. this particular okay. location. Okay. Including that is a team park here, oh, which is going to be the largest wow. team park in Africa. Wow. About 200,000 square meters for, for the team park. So there'll be water at eight. Game arcades, water parks, sorry, game arcades. This will be even for children. I mean, when kids come here, are they going to come by themselves? No, of course not. They won't come. They come with their parents, parents from so. all over the country, from yeah. all over Africa. Okay. The question is, where will they sleep? Okay. At the end of the yeah. day. Okay. So you see how investors benefit yeah. from okay. rental income, yeah. you know, for properties within the Sentinel okay. City. Okay. All right. There will also be a safari here. Okay, the safari here. Yes, wow. it's going to be an urban safari park. Okay. Yes, it's called Centenary Safari. Yeah. Um, Nigeria has lost a lot of that market to East Africa, Kenya, yeah, and the rest yes, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine when this now comes up in yeah. good proximity to the airport. Okay. Right? It's Thanks not less than how many kilometers to the airport? It's about eight minutes. It's gonna, there will be a direct train from the airport to yeah. this place. Oh, so okay, cool. It's cool. a non stop one. Okay. So, okay. that's another attraction there. Okay. But with this, it's not gonna be carnivorous animals. Okay. No, I mean, yeah, I understand. So, yeah. we add different species of antelopes, yeah. zebras. What, what is species. this structure? What would this structure here? That's what was you know, designed to be the conference center. Okay. All right. Okay. But now, um, they've put it within 
So that will be within the larger shopping mall for okay. okay. traffic. Okay. So that will give the mall even more traffic. Okay. You know, so it's going to be more buzzy and all that. Okay. So a lot of things that we've done you know, to ensure our density is well sustainable. Okay. I can so see. I can see. Like uh, uh, what's it called? This. Uh, like a cable cart in here, I can Correct. see it. something like that. Correct. You know, as mentioned, yeah. the, 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 the master plan is designed to be, number one, a tourist destination, yeah. as well as a business hall, okay. right, where people can live yeah. and have a fantastic lifestyle. Okay. Right. So here is a cable car, yeah. you know, it transcends from okay. the okay. yeah. yeah. it goes to the center of the project, Right somewhere there. Okay. And at the back of the African Tower. Okay, I can see one so, too there. Yes. So there's another one that goes to the top. You see the yeah, there? Hill there? Yeah. That's the centenary peak. Okay. The two hill you see there, if you look outside the glass, can you see how small? Yeah, okay, that's, that's the hill. Okay, okay. Okay. So okay. Right. Okay. Now different plan to get fine dining restaurant somewhere there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So oh, we can just yeah, I understand how you have to see yeah. yeah. But yeah. the cable car goes all up the there. Way. Okay. So it's a fantastic. So the question I want to ask is that has the project commenced? Right? Correct. That's it. Okay. We started the construction, you know, the infrastructure development of the project. Okay. You see, there's this natural waterway, waterway yeah. that yeah. devised the project. Yeah. yeah. From the waterway to the right okay. is where. We're starting with the first phase, okay. apart from the moon. Okay. Okay. So currently, as we speak, yeah. there's work going on within the Villa Royal. Okay. All right, which is the most premium phase of the project. Okay. Yeah. In exclusive five-star luxury homes. Wow. All right. They are sold fully luxury furnished to detail. Wow. With a premium yeah. luxury brand. Okay. You know, for the villas there. Okay. There's also plans to have a four. Find maybe Star Hotel. Yeah. You know, I think there's discussion going on at the JW Marriott. Okay. All right. They'll be out soon. There. Let me show you that Villa Royal okay. face. All right. I'm going to watch you guys. Good morning. Hi, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm So, this is the five this is the fight. Wow. So this, this is a villa. This is the villa we are. Yeah. All right. So this will be an hotel, premium hotel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good plan. We'll be coming here. Right. About two hundred and fifty rooms. Two hundred and fifty. Because rooms. of the proximity to the airport. Airport. Yeah. Okay. So that will have very good occupancy, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. for travelers, okay. all those air hosts, yeah. pilots yeah. who need to sleep maybe three, four hours for okay. their stay to go back. Okay. They would rather like move to stay here. Okay. All right. But the hotel will be servicing the luxury villas. Okay. Each one comes with its own affinity swimming pool. Wow. You know, premium, well built, you know, luxury design. And because it's on the hill top, right? Yeah. It goes all the way. Okay. You know, have the panoramic view of the city. Wow. The exclusive luxury villas. There's only a few of those anyway. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, like from this structure, where is your office? Is the office situated anywhere around Correct. the structure? So, currently, yeah, where we are right now, we are in this building. Okay, all right. Okay. So, we are currently in this building. Okay, all right. The bar, the terrace you see here, yeah, is what you see out there. Okay, okay, okay. So, you see, you are looking out, out to yeah. you get a view like this. Okay, yeah, yeah I get it. You're looking, is done. okay, you have this view like this, exactly. So this is this is Dubai itself. Okay. But right, that's the Burj Khalifa yeah. okay. that I was telling you about. Okay. You know, so it's a similar if you look at the design, we have similar templates, okay. similar design, okay. we share similar ideas in each other in them. I love this. I love this. The question I want to ask is yeah. I, I know this thing was uh, inaugurated in two thousand and fourteen. Correct. What has been the reason why it has slowed? What had like slowed it down? Right, that's a very good question. Uh, let me start by saying, you know, that popular thing that room was not built in a day. day. Okay, All cool. Right? Yeah. There's a reason for that. Yeah, and if we use Centenary City as an example, you now when it was launched in 2014, it was yeah. from the previous administration. Okay. All right. Okay. But then this 
administration now inherited it, yeah. right, and endorsed the project as well. You know, okay. President Buhari endorsed the project. Okay. So since then, there's been a lot of administrative work okay. needed to be done. Then also a lot of design concept, even at the drawing board stage. Okay. You know, gradually. Okay. You know, and even in that time, the project got endorsed as okay. a fuel zone. Okay. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So there's a lot of things that need to be put in place. You know, but the good thing is right now, construction has started. Infrastructure okay. has started okay. in terms of. Um, you know, work going on. Okay. So, because it's not just an estate we are building here. Oh, yeah, I but understand. It's, it's, it's a city a itself. Blue, yeah. Blown yeah. community that yeah. should be yeah. sustainable yeah. of itself. Yeah. So, there's a lot of work, you know, that we, you know, going on here and there. Okay. You know. So, my look at it is slow down, but then there's a lot so of work going, going on okay. behind, okay. behind okay. us. Okay. All right. All right. To give you an idea, yeah. What it looks like, you know, interior or in fuel. Okay. You know, okay, these are the four and five bedrooms okay. for the Villa Real. Five bedrooms. Four and four, four and five. five. Bedrooms. Okay. Depends on okay. the client. So he offers both indoor and outdoor lifestyle. Alright? Okay. Very exclusive. You know. So with all this lifestyle is being considered even in the at the design stage okay. of, of these villas. You know. Very exclusive. Then you have seven and eight bedrooms over there. Seven and eight bedrooms there? Yes. Okay. Let's go to that one and from, see. From okay, this is the seven and the eight bedrooms. This is seven and eight bedrooms. Okay. Right. Similar to what you see in the James Bond movies. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Very modern contemporary designs. Very, yeah. very unique. So there are just few of them, you know, with, with all these ones. Okay, which one is this one? These are the Spanish type villas. Spanish type yes. villas. These ones are not, there are two of them, but they are not for sale. Oh, okay. Yes. Why are they not for sale? Well, they are more presidential, you know, in terms of uh, to get who might be able to buy these, you know. Buy but, it. okay. You know, just like when you are hosting presidents yeah, of okay, different countries, okay, okay, okay. you know, instead of them going to stay in Transco Building, okay. the Centenary City itself is having somewhere whereby oh, okay. you know, they can okay, use accommodate. For accommodate for their visit. Most of them travel with Emperor, right? so okay, that's why you see them very, okay. very big. Okay. It's about 10 bedrooms wow. in there. Mm. Again, very nice town, city. Yeah. yeah. So most of them, they come fully luxury furnished with this type of material. All right. Okay. So this is a bedroom. You know, you can imagine cream marble tiles. You know, detail finishing. I can imagine <laughs> being in your office here. Yeah, I can imagine if the office is this cool. Yeah. The only thing, let me say this because I said it off the camera while I was recording. Mm. If you've been to any foreign city before and you've been to a luxurious hotel that's mm. the feeling you get when you step into this office yeah. it is awesome it, there's no way to describe it except you've been there before okay. that's the only way you can tell yeah. so you have walking closets like this wow you know german fitted appliances yeah. kitchen bathroom detailed tiling you know, this is appliance it's all inclusive so to give you an idea yeah. What you expect in terms of you know, finishing, yeah. you know, can imagine well detailed wall designs, wow. you know, very unique, uh, tasteful material. So just going so give an idea of reality. So it's not just pictures you are seeing. Yeah. So we're talking about proper, you know, world of to details. You yeah. know, as I said, German brands, quality, top notch. You know, um, the the company itself has passion for perfection. So anything that's been done yeah. is always done to detail. So including Italian furniture, you know, well branded furniture, this is typical of. So, well, this is my place right here. Imagine you're waking up to a view like this in the morning. That's cool, man. That's crazy. I can only imagine. <laughs> come automated as 
Man, this is cool. Yeah. I can only imagine just waking up in the morning, yeah. you're stretching, you're seeing this. It's even more lovely yeah. in the evenings, evenings when you have chairs out there. You can imagine your kids running around, you're having a good time with the family. Wow. You know, wow. Those are the type of lifestyle that I love us. And you should also know that mm. Centenary City is not the type of project whereby you know you are building and you are thinking about you want to buy a generator or you are drilling a bowl, you know, nothing like that. Yeah, okay. Because it's all planned for from the beginning. Okay. There's an there's a freezer management company, you know, that even manage the infrastructures that we yeah. that we put mm. in place. Okay. You know, so it makes it all you know unique in terms of um, what to expect. So very, very amazing project. This is cool. Can we step up? Let me see. Yeah. Well, yeah. Looks like outside. Sure. Guys, just imagine you stepping out of your room and you're getting this view from. So this is even where it is now. It's amazing. Now imagine, yeah, imagine when the here is the, yeah. all done up. You know, I was telling you about that natural waterway. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's it, that yes. divides the... That divides it, it, yeah, okay. So if you notice, they started infrastructure work. Okay, I can you see the road can there. see the road. That road goes all the way to the grove. Can you see grove further down? What? Where you have... There's a phase called the grove. Okay. You know, it's a place whereby we launch, you know, it's so, all... Can I say so that just a few units left okay. within the grove, but work has been going on there aggressively. You can see a lot of trucks. You know, you see where you have that blue roof. Blue roof, yeah, yes. yeah. It's all fenced. Okay, There's does that road come in from Kuji Road? That road leads to the Kuji Road. road. Okay, yes. yeah, I think I've seen it. And the road, they, they've even put granite on the road Correct. and everything. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think so, I've seen it. Yeah, that's the road that leads to Centenary City. Yeah. So if you go there now, yeah. you know. People's plot have already people have already been marked out. The drainage system is already being put in place. Okay. You know, sewage will be done. Okay. All right. The sewage going to be done, and everything is underground. Electricity provided. Wow. The water system provided. So, even if you are building your own unit, yeah, you don't even have to worry about anything. Yeah. With, okay. You know, okay. Within the okay. 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 Sewage, electricity, road, all infrastructure will be provided. Okay, can I ask a question? Yeah. You, you know, you said when you're thinking about electricity, yeah. the, is the Centenary City generating its own electricity? That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. You okay. know, the idea is to make Centenary City a sustainable city for it to sustain okay. itself. Okay. You know, independent of, of you know, the national the grid. territory, the national grid, grid and all that. Yeah. That's the ultimate plan. But in the interim, you yeah. know, uh, for example, we're using the uh, grid that goes to the airport. The port. Okay. 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 That's right. Okay. Uh, I think you know, in the year, the power downtime yeah. is not to what less than ten hours. You want to go to the airport? In, yeah. Wow. 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 So wow. as you hear, the well, I, I would I would say it is true because we that are not on it, I know how many times it, our light go, goes up, and it doesn't really go up often. And even if it does, it doesn't stay long. Comes back. Yes. And instead of that, in my house, what I did was that I had solar panels instead of my roof, so I just have continuous no. electricity. When when the idea of the city came, yeah, um, everyone knows, you know, the the peculiarity of uh, Nigerians' problem to be. Yeah. Electricity. Yeah. So one of the f most things that one of the you know the infrastructure that got a lot of attention yeah. of the management is the electricity, you know, solution. Yeah. All that right? you, so that will be provided there's here. There's a full master plan for electricity itself to ensure there's 24 hours electricity within the city. Cool. Even backup plans and all that. So cool. Yeah. Well, you see. Again, yeah, a good product sells itself. Yeah, it's true. You know, and um, real estate is mainly for people with foresight. If you want very good returns, you must have foresight. You okay. know, so a lot of people are seeing beyond what it is today, and they are taking out the investment. Cool. So, 
the early birds gets the best one. So we're almost done with that. And that's the most affordable face of the wow. market. Yes. For and those that's ones, why it's, that's why it's sold out. Because everybody knows once that is gone, you know. <laughs> so like how much are those ones, the most, most affordable ones? Go? Yeah, how much are they going I will show you because yeah. I want to show you uh, more detail about that one okay. again okay. on the groove. Okay. You know, they are specially designed luxury terraces. Okay. You know, then the price also varies. Okay. So when okay. we gain the I'm right. able to show you. All right. Okay. We're back in. We're back in. He's going to show me... Uh, the the uh, the groove and what the cost is and the, the different types of houses that are there flats that are there so let's go and see I'll show you the groove okay on the model okay all right yeah but, um, what we have in here yeah is you know, the growth phase of the project. Okay. All right. That's what the grove is a community on its own. Okay. For nine hectares of, of land, land. Okay. within the Centenary City. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know, it was launched you know, to be fourplex and sixplex units. Okay. What do I mean by that? Um, what I mean by that is. You see? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You see the road we saw that is under construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This road is being done. Yeah. All these road networks are being done yeah. currently. Currently, okay. Alright. With the sewage drainage underground okay. electricity, everything yeah, on the ground. Underground, yeah. All right. So what, what I was telling you about, you know, their design has four plates. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. So you have two corner units yeah. and, and two, two mid units. units. All yeah. Right? yeah. Each of the units yeah. are five bedrooms. Whoa. There are five bedroom terraces. Okay. So there are five bedroom modern contemporary design, like what you see. Like what we we'll see there. Correct. Okay. So there are modern terraces in the way four units attached or six okay. units okay. attached. You know, so you offer contemporary living. Okay. You know, so you have your full privacy to yourself, you know, very good security system put in place, you know. This will be their entrance into the grove. Okay. Right. Okay. This will be their own entrance Correct. into the grove. Because okay. That's the security. community itself within yeah, within the centenary city. city. Okay. Just like we have Villa Royale, okay. which is okay. another community. Okay. All right. So this is one community. So, like I was asking, what are they going for for houses like this? Very good. It depends on the investors on or how big you want to come in okay all right yeah the the fourplex for example yeah you know you can have i you can either have one one of the units yeah maybe in the middle yeah or at the corners okay the prices of the corner units are more expensive right yes yeah, okay. it's different from the one at the middle unit okay you know they should be the middle units are about 26 million okay each yeah all right yeah. for the middle ones yeah while the corner ones are the uh, for about 36 million okay the corner units okay so that includes the cost of the land okay all right and yeah. also for all the, the infrastructure okay do you understand okay so if you have your own team of engineers yeah. you cannot build the structure by yourself so, okay all right okay. or we build for you okay all right okay. a lot of our clients want us to build for them as well. <laughs> that's what i want you know and really we have, you know team of course so a good question would be mm. Can somebody yeah. here build yeah. independent of this? Yes. The project has been designed in, in such, such a way, way that, that. Okay. each person can build their own unit themselves. Okay. All right? Okay. We have clients who buy the four units together. Together. And that comes to around one around forty four million approximately. Okay. All right? Okay. For the land. So it's a fantastic one for people who can do that because that offers very good capital appreciation as well as rental income okay all right true. so it's not just about um building yeah all right a lot of attention has been given to ensuring investors get their returns on their investments in the most simple and the most profitable way as possible okay all right yeah so within the group there's also a clubhouse there'll okay. be a clubhouse okay within I'm the sure group. that one that's this yes. Okay. yes so that uh, swimming pool 
you know, gym, okay. you know, fantastic facilities yeah. for people, you know, to live in. There's also green area for kids to play, yeah. you know, in and that. So I saw something underneath here. What does this one? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's, that's not valid. Okay. You know, okay. As we had a lunch. Okay. You know, the early guys who took up the event, they were okay. able to get... You know, some of these okay, benefits. this was what they benefited when because Correct. it was okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, about ten of them. Wow. The I'm sure this people must have bought like four. <laughs> well, you know, there are, you know, the company values investors who understands and have keyed into the vision, vision of, of the of the project. Vectors. Okay. You know, so uh, it's not just about buying plenty yeah. units or. You know, okay. You can buy like I know a client who we got that and he bought two units, yeah. one in the middle, yeah, and one at the bottom, yeah, okay. attached to each other, yeah, okay. You know, so you can buy two units as well, yeah, instead of having just one. Okay, you know, yeah, I understand. Having everything it depends on what you are comfortable with, it. okay. You know, and you can modify the interior to your taste, okay. You know, or to how. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is the group. Let me show it to you on the model. Okay. All because right. location. He's actually going to show me what that structure looks like on the model here. So we're here. So. This is exact model as that. Yeah, yeah. This is the map. Upgraded. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. a bit. Okay. For example, I'm sure you saw um, the polo construction going on outside. Okay. I didn't That's where you see a lot of okay. rocks. Okay. Where is your office here now? From so this? we are in this building. Okay. We're in this building. Yeah. This okay. one. Okay. So All this right. is the airport, the airport road. road. Yeah. You drove up this way. Yeah. You know, drove up this way. You probably parked somewhere around okay. here. Okay. And this is where we are. Okay. All right. Okay. So within here, there's going to be a polo ground. I told you about the safari park. Yeah, yeah. Within the safari park, there will be safari chalets. Okay. You know, there will be chalets whereby people can come, yeah. have a very good time, mm -hmm. weekend. Yeah. But very, you know, if you want to come close to nature. Yeah, okay. It's very good. Animals will roam freely. Okay. So there won't be mobile phones or laptops or computers here. Wow. So yeah. Living work completely to come and have wow. very good, you know, okay. uh, downtime okay. when you are within the safari. Okay, the massage, spa treatments, okay. and all that over here. All right. Yeah. So again, this is the villa area that I was okay. telling you about. Okay. okay. Then the greens, which is another community on its own. Okay. So the greens is another affordable luxury, you know, community. Okay. You know, that has not been launched yet. Okay. And this is the growth okay. which I mentioned okay. to you. I okay. showed you just now. Yeah. Look at the proximity between this location mm -hmm. and properties around 200 million naira. Wow. 400 million naira. Wow. So automatically, people who are investing in here, yeah. you know, their property will catch up with. You wow. Know, I guess, I guess, so yeah. those are part of the benefits within the, the safari. There's also be a number of expression of interest from diplomatic communities. communities. Okay. All right. They want to live here within the Centennial City. Things about I think four countries are coming together. Okay. To you know live in the diplomatic district wow. of Centennial City. So oh, this this will be the diplomatic district. Yes. Yes. So they will have their canal office. Okay. As well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The American Embassy, for example. Yeah. Their office or embassy is just yeah. up on the airport road yeah. here, okay. so they would not mind leaving very okay. close. And anywhere America goes, Canada will go as well. <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's not, you know, fully confirmed yet. Okay. Though. It's still right. a discussion stage. So. Wow, yeah. that's a beautiful picture. Yeah, that's something else. Guys, this place is beautiful. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. It's already beautiful for what I'm saying. <laughs> cool. Ah, thank Mr. Kenny for taking us around. I really appreciate this. What's this, this roundish structure zone? Yeah, you remember there are two utility points within the Centenary City. Okay. So if you notice this at the end, so it's more like for 
you know the utilities and facilities so this might be for the air conditioning or electricity oh, okay, okay. or you know, All right. okay. for this for servicing okay. The, okay. the communities okay. so there's one there there's another one on that side okay. yeah. 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 so guys we're done here uh, I'm so glad I came in this morning and the guy took me around, showed me all the projects and I'm sure I really enjoyed myself here today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I was able to show you the beautiful centenary city and uh, the project has really kicked off. Thank you guys for watching today. If today is your first time for seeing this hairy face, please do subscribe and hit the like button so that uh, we get know that you enjoyed this video and also tap the uh, bell icon so that uh, you get notified anytime I put out a video. Thank you for watching today. See you guys in the very next one. Interesting. This is the office complex that we came to. Subscribe, like, share, comment, See you in the next one.